if you, I mean, obviously, if you were offered. Um, here's the thing as well. Here's what my literary agent said. They come in and they buy the rights to your life story and that's it. Yeah, you're out there. I wouldn't want to sell out, you know. I'd like to keep it true to its roots, to exposing what's going on in the jail yeah. and for it to cause more pressure on Sheriff Joe Pyle. Right. You know, so I'll try and keep as much, you know, of my opinion in it as possible. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, one, one okay. last one, sorry. Um, see if you were already absolutely covered in tattoos, like full body suit, and you go in, and you're supposed to be getting all used to this stuff. I mean, yeah. how does that, do they just burn you? She asked what time did you go in there with tattoos? I'm just going to put it back to that picture. <coughs> so I quite like ink, so it's just a person Let's go back to these guys. Um, if you go in with prison tattoos, and you've not been in prison before, so you've not committed the acts of violence to earn these tattoos. The gang members will come up to you and give you a knife. And if you've got, say, the war bird, which means you've murdered someone, go and murder that guy over there. If you've got SS lightning bolts or a swastika, which means you've beaten someone up or collected a debt for the Aryan Brotherhood, you've got to go and do it. If you don't do it, they will hold you down and they will carve the flesh off you. Right. Yeah. Did they get more tattoos in prison and how did they manage to get them? This is the thing. Um, they called me a blankie for starters because I was like the odd one out. As soon as you go in, all these big tattooed men run to the windows and look at you and it's so intimidating. Um, the serial home invader torture cellmate I had, he turned our cell into an illegal tattoo shop. He took the motor out of a Walkman, he attached it to a guitar string and a needle which he ran through the outer casing of a pen. Now the motor from the Walkman powered the tattoo gun and for ink there was a hair gel product you could buy at the inmate store. He built a contraption and he burnt it for hours on end in this contraption and the smoke collected into soot and the soot was his black ink. And he also had a female guard smuggling colored ink in for him. This guy had some serious art skills. And a lot of the guys in there, there's so much talent. But there's no rehabilitation or education for them to channel that energy into. You know, they go in there, they become gang members, come out with these tattoos. And how are you going to get a job with a swastika on your face and stuff like that? They're like enemies of society. And a lot of them have got diseases as well. And it's just... Phoenix has got the highest crime rate, one of the highest crime rates in America. So it's not working. I think one of the other pitiful things was when you said about, you know, the, the giving millions and millions of dollars to families who, you know, have killed. And yeah. Death. Obviously, there's that millions of families that have sued them. And yeah. It's just so sad that the millions can't be ploughed into, you know. Into giving them job skills. Yeah. So when they yeah. get out, they've got a chance in life. Yeah. Yeah. What they do is they give them $50. It's called gate money. That's it. You're on your way. Here's fifty dollars. So as soon as that's gone, they're shoplifting to feed themselves, and they're right back in. On the streets, the, you know, the, the enemies of society. In the prison, the characters they've built reputations. As soon as they're right back in the door, it's high fives. I'm back in. What do you get caught for? Oh man, you know, welcome home, welcome back. It's like a, a family. So it just doesn't work. Recidivism's off the scale. I met, um, I think it was the head of the Denmark prison system um, just the other week, and they've got recidivism down to the second lowest in the world. And that's a more, much more humane approach that they take to Scandinavian countries. They do, you know, give them job skills and stuff like that. It shouldn't be easy. I mean, the guys in the Wigan prison, because it was young offenders, they legally have to be punished like children. And they told